Hello, and welcome to another episode of Mythic for Operators. Today, we're going to be looking at operations. Now, there are two different ways you can get to the operations management page. You can either click the name of your current operation up at the top. That's what we have here, Operation Chimera. Or you can click the hamburger icon on the side, go to Operation Config, and click Modify Operations. Both ways will take you to this page where you can get an overview and slight configurations for the operations that Mythic knows about. Just looking at the various settings that we have, we can delete operations. Now this does not actually delete the data from within Mythic, but instead simply hides the operation and makes it so that you can't make further adjustments to it. The configure button will allow you to change things like the name of the operation. It can allow you to toggle the complete operation flag. When an operation is completed, that means that no new callbacks can be generated. You can still interact, you can still generate reports, you can still do things with an operation, you just can't generate new callbacks based off of various payloads. You can also edit the webhook channel and URL. If you have a webhook container installed and you don't have specific channels set for the various events that Mythic can send to webhooks, then these values will be used kind of as a general default. So you can set these to whatever you want if you have a webhook container installed. If you don't have one installed, these won't be used. Now, outside of the general configuration parameters for the operation itself, we can adjust the operators. So you can click that here. We can see that for an operation, there will always be a lead operator and then any number of operators and spectators. So we can see this down here of who is currently assigned to this operation. In this case, Bobby and Mythic Admin are assigned. Mythic Admin is currently the lead of the operation. Bobby is just an operator. So this will be your general setup for things. One lead that can override some things the operators are doing and one or more operators. If we change Bobby's role to spectator, then Bobby will still be able to log in, we'll be able to see all the tasking and files and credentials and, and all this sort of stuff that you'd expect for an operation. However, they will not be able to do anything that will cause a change. So they won't be able to issue tasks, they won't be able to generate reports, they won't be able to create payloads, stuff like that. In addition to that, you can see that there's one other option over here for block lists. So down here, we can set and create various block lists for Mythic. So an example of what that means, each one needs some sort of name. So let's say junior operator. And then for every agent that you have installed, you can identify commands that should be blocked from being executed. So in this case, we have Atfel, Apollo, Medusa, and Poseidon installed. And let's say, you know, maybe for the Atfel agent, I don't want users to be able to run add user or cookie thief. So let's move these over here to the blocked commands. Maybe for uh, Poseidon, clipboard monitor, and dialed inject. Maybe those are, are not okay. So let's hit submit. And you can see here, now we have a block list called junior operator, and you can see what commands specifically are blocked. Now to assign this to somebody, you go up to their specific operation and say, all right, you will now have junior operator associated with you. You'll update it. You can see here that uh, Bobby's disabled commands is updated to junior operator. So this means now in active operations, if Bobby tries to run one of these commands, they'll automatically get blocked from doing so. And you can edit this at any time. Just cl simply click the edit button. You can't change the name of this block list overall, but you can decide, okay, you know what? Maybe these are okay. So I'll go ahead and adjust that. And now we can see that there's nothing set for the Atfel uh, payload type, but these are still set for the Poseidon payload type. So you can make those sort of modifications on the fly, in addition to just deleting the entire block list overall. And as you saw, those block lists are assigned per operation. So you might be blocked from doing certain commands in maybe a more important operation and in a testing operation, maybe you can do anything that you want. Speaking of which, you can have multiple operations going at a time and you can see what ones are running. And if you are a member of that operation, you can switch to any of them at any time to make them your active operation. So in this case, we have three operations. Operation Chimera, 
with Mythic Admin, us, as the lead. There's one called Red Team Q2 2023 that has Charlie as the, admir as the operation lead. And then we have another one called Test, where Bobby is the operation admin, is the lead of the operation. So Mythic Admin is not actually a member of this Red Team Q2 2023 operation. If we try and make this the current operation, you'll see we get denied. We are a member though of the test operation. So if we click that one, you'll see we have now switched our context and we are in the test operation. If we click edit, you can see here that Bobby is the lead and we are simply just a spectator that's part of it. Pretty easy to go through and hop between different operations that you're in and whatever operation you are currently a part of is what payloads, files, callbacks, like all that sort of stuff that you're actually going to see. The only thing that's shared amongst all operations are the things that you see here in this payload types and C2 profiles page. The payload type containers are shared amongst all operations, just like these C2 profiles are shared across all operations. So if I am in the Operation Chimera operation and I you know, stop the dynamic HTTP profile. That's going to stop it for everybody. So it's just something to kind of keep note of. This is why uh, spectators aren't allowed to do this sort of thing because it does make a bigger impact change. So that's kind of the brief overview of operations, kind of how they play, where you can go to interact with them, make modifications. Um, and this will of course be something that's built out over time. For example, you can see this analysis button that doesn't do anything yet, but will eventually have its own separate page with metrics and overviews and insights into kind of how the operation is progressing overall.